Hi guys, so in today's tutorial we're going to be learning about JavaScript slice method. Slice method is one of the methods that you can apply on your arrays or you can also use it on a string too, it's either way. So it works for, um, for string and it also works on an array. So it depends on how you want to go about using it. So let's imagine we have this string, let me see, we have constant uh, name, then we have Let's say we just have a string of um, jump, then we can say console of uh, name dot slice. Uh, that we can say one. So let's see what's going to give us. See, it takes out the the first the first uh, alphabet, which is J. It removes it, then it gives us with uh, O H N. So uh, let's say we say let's um, let it in as two. So we're going to have only O because you know this is index zero, one, two. So we are telling it to stop to end at index of two. But with slice method, uh, with slice method, you just it's, it's not going to take the uh, the element that is on this index of two. It's not going to add it to our output. Uh, our output variable, maybe if you are trying to create any variable, we are trying to make a shallow copy. So when we're working with slice method. Using a slice method, it means like we are taking, we are making a shallow copy of the original array. Maybe, for instance, or, uh, or the, it might not be an array, it might be a string too. So maybe, for instance, we are working on an array of strings, but we still want the original uh, array to still be the same. So we can use slice methods to make a copy of the original array. So what I'm trying to say, in essence, is slice method is not mutable, which means it doesn't affect the original array that we are working on. The original array is still going to be intact. We're still going to be able to use it later on in our project. So that is one of the benefits of using the slice method. So let me just take out this now. Let me just take out this just, just an example. So let's say for instance, we have this list now. Let's say for instance, we have written a website for a school. Whereby we have to, whereby we have to uh, uh, take out maybe to differentiate between students that pay school fees and difference and students that are that are only in the school, so you understand what I mean, right? So, so let's say the students that have this uh, minus symbol in front are those that are only in the school. So now we want to take them out. So I will, the method I'll be using here, yeah, going to be explaining it later on this channel because I won't be using only the slice method, but I will be using another method too. But I won't be going deep into that other method right now because I'm still going to be explaining a lot better with a lot case scenario whereby you can understand it easily and, easily and faster. So let's say now we have this list of students and we we need to sort, we, we need to like differentiate between those that are in this group and those that are in this group. So let's say, so I can just create a new variable and say, uh, let me say, this sort, so this this sort, I'm going to be applying a method on this, uh, on this array, this JavaScript array, then after that, I'm going to be using the slice method that we are watching this tutorial about. So the first thing I want to do is I want to sort this array in this in the case whereby the beginning index, the beginning index is going to change whether it's going to have the ones with with a minus in front, which is this student that are running the school fees. So now all I have to do is just say student fees dot so I can just choose this like this. So let me console log this, this sort. So if you can see here in the console, we have it sorted out. So it separated the students that are owing aside from students that are not owing. So let's say now after we've done this, there are still other ways we can use sorts, but we're still going to be explaining that in a deeper level when we, when I'm discussing or when I'm when I'm tutoring about. Uh, JavaScript sort method, but right now we are working on JavaScript slice method, and that is what I want us to focus on. Right now. So now, after we sort this out using this sort method, then we have this results right again. Then after this, we can now let me just take this out right here. Let me take this out right here. Okay, let me just delete this. So after deleting this, now I can now apply the slice method. So for me to do that, I can now say. Uh, should I create any variable? Okay, 
can just go to log. Then we say result dot size. So if we do this, let's see what's going to give us. So it's going to give us the copy of this. Like it's giving us the copy of this. It's still the same. So maybe you have a situation where you just want to make a copy. You don't want to take out anything from the arrays, or you don't want to take anything else from the strings. You can just simply use the slice method straight up without putting any stats number or head number. You understand? So um, this slice method takes some arguments. So the first argument is the stats. It's like this. Let's say we have the stats. And it takes some other arguments too, but those ones are not really are not really uh, compulsory. So because we're going to be focusing more on the start and end. So now let's say now after we after we sorted this uh, piece out, we sorted this school piece out, and we have this. So if you can see from here, this one, so we have this in the beginning, like this index zero one. So we have the one with the minus, which have the students that have not picked their school fees. So now, applying the JavaScript slice method, we can give it the start that okay, start from index zero, then you end, end at index two. Sorry, two. So I want to use this to explain something. You know, this is index zero, this is one, and this is two, right? See, instead of us to have these three, these um, three elements, these first three elements, you see what what's going to give us control log. You see, it gave us to let me okay, just to use this to explain. Let me just do this. Let me console log this. So let me console log. So now you see that instead of what it's to give us one to three, it gave us only one, only the first two um, elements of the of this um first sort array, right? Now what happened is when you're using a slice method, you need to understand the fact that only this this starts this starts number where the, the where we want the slice methods to start is what really matters like i mean okay now we want it to start from this now we are telling it to end at index 2 right which is 0 1 2 like okay let me use this which is 0 1 2 we are telling it to end here but the problem is the slice method will not take this the end m the the elements that is on that is on the index we are telling it to, to end it's not going to take that element with the results we are with the outputs that it's going to give us so you need to always remember that so that it won't, so that you won't get confused. So now we are telling it to end at two, but it's ending at yeah, these two, but it will not be included in short to make that a lot more easier for you. So now for us to let it show this this uh this one, so all we have to do is just keep okay. Now you see, so it's going to give us so now we've sorted this out, we've sorted this out easily. So that is how we can use a slice method to to um to make a shallow copy of our to make a shallow copy of our original array. So we can use JavaScript slice method to make a shallow copy, to make a shallow copy of our original array. So besides this, is we may not or in some cases we might just want to like okay, I want maybe. For instance, we don't want. Okay, now let's let me now use this. Let's say now I want to copy only these ones, only these ones that doesn't have minus in the front. So if I want to do this now, now this is this three element is no longer here. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So now let's say something here now. Let me say I do minus five. So you see, when I do minus five, so it gives me this ones with positive um you know, for positive figures. So which means what I'm, with this minus this uh negative index that I'm giving here, I'm telling it okay, start from five from um minus five, like the last five index, so which is zero. This is going to be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So that is why it is starting from here. You understand what I mean? So if I tell it starts from here, and that's two, let's see what's going to happen. It's not going to give us anything because we already have index. We are we are starting it from the negative index now. We are telling it to okay end at this second index. You see, it doesn't really make any sense. So that's why that did not work. Let's see if this is going to work. It's still not going to work. So it's not going to work in which we want it to work. But now we can have we can start at zero and stop at let me say minus three. Let's see. Of course, that's going to work. Of course, it is going to work because now it 
it has so angular, it has a point of skeleton which is index of zero. And now we are giving it at the end points, which is minus three, which is minus one, minus two, minus three. And we know that this is not going to be included, of course. So that is why we have this this uh five elements in our output array. So don't forget that. And there's still this other uh okay. I was trying to explain something before that. It takes the start uh, and and also the this argument. This argument. This argument is not really important, but this is how it works. So let's say, for instance, you know, I already have this. Let me just console log this out like this. You know, console log this out like this. And don't forget, I already, you know, okay, hold on. It's going to give me an error. So, okay, it's still going to be the same. So, now, okay, let me just console. Sorry about this. This original one right here. So now, okay. Now, let me see. I do this dot slice. Then, now I'm giving it a starting point, which is let's say I wanted to start at. Uh, um, I wanted to start at. Let me see index of two. Okay, and I wanted to end at minus five. Oh, minus five, no, sorry. I want to put minus, let me say minus three. Then I give it uh, this. So let's see what's going to happen now. So, okay, it's still, there is nothing, it doesn't change anything. So this this argument is, I heard, like I said earlier, it doesn't really affect anything in the code. So the major thing you need to understand when using this last method is the start and the end points. And you should not forget that the the element that is available at the index here will not be included in our output, in our output um, um, variable or output uh, results that we're going to get. So we should not forget about that. Uh, thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Uh, I believe you understand one or two of this channel. And maybe you're still confused about how to use JavaScript science method, or you're having a difficulty with other uh, JavaScript method, or, or Java, um, or JavaScript array method or string method, anyone, you can drop it right under the comments and I'll make sure I do it too well. You listen to what you want and what you need and give you a better explanation about it. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.